let's let's because my question was what do you think of Capaldi? But oh, okay, <laughs> fine, do it. Let's do it. Well, now I'm hungry for food. All right, you already ate. Yeah, I know, but I'm hungry Fat for... Badass? I'm, I'm hungry... Badass? I'm, I'm way less than you! <laughs> anyway, uh... Hey folks, it's Casual Truck, I'm Grimwit, with me is Jet. Say hello, Jet. Hello, Internet! Now, I was going to talk about Capaldi the new doctor and what you thought of him, but uh, I'll tell you what, we're talking about diner food, and I want to hear about the hobo skillet again. Well, we'll talk about Capaldi later. We'll just do the hobo skillet. Hobo skillet is uh, hash browns, uh, sausage, bacon, and on top of that is uh, an egg style of your choice, scrambled or um, over easy, and on top of that, country gravy. You know what? When I eat a hobo, that's how I like to eat them too. It's it's pretty damn good. And the other place I like, uh, which is the Palest Diner, just opened up. Yeah. Uh, has actually two items. It's their pancakes that are really good, and the I can't. It's the uh, um, French toast sandwich, which is uh, sausage, cheese. Uh, Scrambled eggs between two um, French toast. See, I just got back from a diner, and you're making me want to go back to a diner. <laughs> Make it more shit. The thing is, I don't have the cash to go out and eat food right now. So I'm making myself hungry, and it's horrible. I'm just going to have to deal with, like, zero cereal or something. Well, maybe you could kill that cereal, become a cereal killer. Nah. <laughs> 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 They're fucking witty. <laughs> Well, the uh, the diner around here, the Honey Bee, which is a famous uh, Glen Burnie diner. I say famous because it is always fucking packed. It is always packed. There is always problem finding parking around the Honey Bee, and they they to the point where they bought the the lot next to them purely for parking. But they're like just a diner, so they didn't like tear down the building that was already there. So. So you're parking in front of an empty building so that you can go to the diner next door. <laughs> nah, nah. It's bizarre is what it is. Anyway, but, uh, goddamn, good fucking diner food. There, there are a lot of good diners around here in the, uh, on the East Coast. I, I don't like the East Coast for the most part. Maybe that's just my, my Oklahoma and mid, Midwest, Southwest person talking to, to me, but, uh, I love the diners around here. You get some good diners here, I guess. There's a, a couple of good ones, uh, Maple and Jams and um, Looms, but those are always packed, especially on Sundays, because you get all the church folks. People coming out after church, they get their food. That's, that's yeah, where, where the diners get... You, you think that's where they get most of their business. The honeybee always busy. One place I was surprised uh, when I first moved here, my uh, my father-in-law fucking grabbed my ass and took me to some place out in the middle of nowhere. And it's it's one of those situations where I'm like, is he just gonna take me out in the woods and shoot me? Is that what's gonna go on? You're and, gonna get raped. <laughs> instead, he took me to a place called Skyline Diner, where I had the best fucking breakfast sausage patties. I've ever had in my life. I've never tasted anything like it before or since. And they closed down last year, and I could hear the cries as if a million breakfasters were crying out in agony and then suddenly silenced. It was, it was pretty nasty, man. So then he raped you? Yeah, yes, that... Show me on the skillet where he touched you. <laughs> you touched me here, and you point to your heart. You touched me here. Psst. Ah, that's hot. And then you point to your gut. <laughs> it touched it me made in my me gut. poop so hard. Uh, oh my god, I have picked the wrong fucking road for this. Oh, oh Jesus. All right. Well, I'll just deal with it. Because <laughs> I'm all I'm, my ass farts. All my ass farts. 
Ass farts. Ass farts. Fart ass. I, I, uh, I have been going on this rampage through YouTube watching Five Nights at Freddy's, and now I'm thinking, I wonder if Freddy's had any breakfast pizzas. Did you, did, what did you think of the link I sent you? Uh, are you talking about the one to, uh, Steam Train? Yes, sir. Uh, it was okay. It suffers from the same problem that uh, everything else in Game Grumps related uh, suffers from. But I liked it. I always like uh, Five Nights at Freddy's Let's Play. What, what do you mean suffers from? Uh, Eagle Raptor. It suffers from Eagle Raptor. Eagle Raptor is what it suffers from. Really? Because I always thought John Tron was the problem. But it's not there anymore. So. Which, which one was doing the silly voices? No, it was Eagle Raptor. It was Eagle Raptor. I don't... Uh, yeah, they were. Yeah. They both do silly voices, man. Was John Tron in the video you sent me? No. It was Eagle Raptor. <laughs> eh, I, I don't mind. But no. he's a voice. He does voice acting for his uh, videos anyway, for his uh, animation. So. Yeah. And people like that, and he's very popular and makes lots of money off of doing that. I am cool so, with this. So. Uh, I just don't like him. Peter Cap Capaldi. <laughs> so Peter Capaldi. A Scott, uh, a, a Scotch doctor. <laughs> Scott doctor, yeah. And that's all um, we have to say about I'm pretty sure Sylvester McCoy was Scottish as well. Uh, was he Scottish or was he just overacting? It's, it's hard to say. <laughs> in the, uh, in the radio dramas, by the way, uh, God, you, you've got to listen to him, but in the radio dramas, he does not change that actor. That, that accent, uh, Sylvester McCoy, and I still can't tell if he's Scottish, I'll, I'll be honest. I, I think he's just overacting. I, I think it's an actor's accent. <laughs> Born in Scotland. Uh, Sylvester? Yes. Well, he's a Mick, a McCoy, isn't he? Yes. That could also mean Irish. That's because they all speak Gaelic, of a kind. So anyway, Peter Capaldi... Peter Capaldi, um, not an action hero. That's what I caught on at the very beginning, and not as grumpy as I thought he would be. Um, you do have to, you do have to take in mind that this is the first episode, and it's a regeneration episode. Yeah, and those, those are always ones where you, you don't actually know what you're in for. Hell, you even have to agree that uh, Tenant's regeneration episode was... Um, you, you didn't actually know how it was going to turn. Right. He, he was asleep for most of it. For a lot of it. True. For a bunch of it. True. So, um, hmm. We will see how Capaldi turns out. So far, I am hopeful. I fucking love Capaldi. I, yeah. I have some issues, but only some. I, I, I just thought... loved how he's give, he was giving uh, Clara shit. Yeah, everybody was giving Clara shit in that episode. Oh, should we? She, she was acting like a bitchy girlfriend, though. Yes, she was. Which is the point. I think that was the whole point of them uh, doing that. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Sorry. Yeah, almost crashed. They were the addressing the fan girls, the new fan girls, were complaining about an old, older man. See, I could see that, but that was the point. Is that? This is the doctor, and he is not your boyfriend. Whether you like it or not. And that that was part of the, the play out. But <clears throat> on, on Clara's side, uh, again, spoilers. Somewhat spoilers. You know what? Let's not. Let's not do this. I don't want to drive I don't know what you're going to be saying, but are we talking about the thing that happened at the end? No, no. In, in Special the, guest? In the middle, when Clara uh, tore into... What's her face? The lizard lady who, whose name I always forget. Astra. Astra, thank you. Yes, when she basically tore into her and started acting like a governess again, which is honestly what she should be doing. See, Clara is not, was never someone to be trifled with. She was never a weak, scared little schoolgirl whose heart's a flutter. That was never what she was. Right, and that's why I liked her. She wasn't like the other previous ones who wanted just to bone the doctor. Except for Donna. She didn't want to bone the doctor either. I wonder if that was the whole thing with Sarah Jane. Like, 
How intimate was Sarah Jane with uh, with the doctors, plural? She's, she's seen more doctors than anyone else. She wasn't. Because you didn't have do- them doing that back then. Hmm. Also, she pretty much stated multiple times in interviews that she had a best friend named the doctor who would always uh, help her out and vice versa. You're talking about... Uh... Sarah Jane Smith. Okay. The the Elizabeth I, I, That's why I was asking if you were talking about the actress or the character. The uh, the actress, actress. Oh, okay. That's, that's what she said in an ever- interview. Okay, separate issue. Sorry, because I haven't seen any of the Sarah Jane Chronicles, and so I don't actually know if she said that the character oh, said that. Right. So that's why I was asking. <clears throat> well. I need to get you into the radio shows because just like the uh, the TV shows, whoever is in charge of choosing the stories has a definite effect on the flavor of the show. And I had just stepped over from 2002 shows to 2003 shows. The 2002 shows are very somber and there aren't a lot of happy endings. So it's kind of... Mm-hmm. I don't know. Then, oh man, then I stepped into the 2003 shows, and suddenly there's a lot of time play being put into effect. My, specifically, uh, just last night, because I had terrible, terrible insomnia, and I, I did not sleep at all last night, I was listening to one of the shows, Flip Flop, which had uh, Sylvester McCoy... Uh, reprising his role as the Doctor, as he has done many times for the big Finnish production Mm. radio dramas. Flip-flop, I have never seen, or I've never heard of, or seen a story quite like it, because it is two timelines, and each timeline takes up two episodes. So, what you're actually getting is two sides of the same story, both of them with the Doctor, and both Doctors from separate timelines, and both of them ending up in the opposite timelines. It was really clever, and it it lived up to its name. It was called Flip Flop because of the flipping between timelines things, and the two Doctors, even though they switched timelines, they never met. A flippy floppy floppy. It was brilliant. I'd never seen anything like it before. And that's the kind of thing that they've been doing, is playing with time. Uh, one of the episodes, The Lazarus Project, is the sixth Doctor for the first two episodes, and then the last two episodes is the seventh Doctor as a sequel. So it was its own sequel. Mm. And I believe it's the first time McCoy and Baker, Colin Baker... Uh, are in the same show together, or I might I might have that wrong. <coughs> they play off each other very well. Yeah, you need to get into the radio show somehow. I'll I'll figure out a way that you can get them. The, the problem is it's like 11 gigs. I can't just put it into my Dropbox and have you download. It. No. Um, <laughs> so back to Capaldi. Back to Capaldi. Sorry, I I have a tendency to get on those tangents. Yeah, you do. You really do. He um, wasn't as grumpy as I thought he'd be. I thought he was plenty grumpy, considering the show is a family show. In the beginning, he was grumpy. I the end, he... In the end, he just seemed to be quiet and fatherly, kind of. I'm interested to see how he turns out. I was kind of hoping for another McCoy, honestly. It seems <laughs> like he was doing that a bit. A little bit, yeah. In the uh, When they were under the restaurant. What I didn't like is when Wait, they tried... Wait, just, just fucking... It's just her. Okay, I, I did say that there were like some problems I had with it. That was hilarious. Tell me what you thought of Capaldi doing the action bits, dropping off of, out of a tree onto a horse, that kind of thing. It's fine. Hmm. He's fifty-six. I mean, he's not going to be jumping off of cliffs and judo chopping dudes. And no, no, he's he's not. He's not. No. 
No one's perfect. He's not gonna be running around like an asshole like uh, uh, David Tennant. Uh, that's it. Judo Chop, I immediately think of Pertwee. But I didn't uh, say Judo Chop was <laughs> Tennant. I said running around like an asshole. I've got it recorded, buddy. Anyway, anyway, back on point. I, I didn't like it because he. Why? Because they tried the the director tried to sidestep the issue that Capaldi is not an action hero, and if what he should have done is called attention to it, because it would have also told us, okay, he's in an old man's body, and apparently there's some message. I like that they're playing up the fact that Capaldi has already played a character on uh, Doctor Who, but <clears throat> what it did is it tore me out of the story so fast when they, they should have made a note like, what, I just regenerated and I have a bad back? What the hell? You know, they should have done something like that. I don't, I'm not saying that they shouldn't have done the action scenes. I'm saying they... There should have been some... He should have been like, oh God. Yeah, they should have I made some... Yeah, they should have made some nod to the fact that he's in an old man's body because it looked weird to see Capaldi try to pull off these stunts. And the other thing is the cuts they made were well, yeah, really that's what obvious. Well, like the editing was pretty shitty. And maybe that's what you have more issue of, is the editing and not uh, the actions. I if it was edited better, perhaps the action would be better. I could agree with that, but I still think it's also something with the director. Like, the, the director was definitely having Capaldi do stuff, like fall off a building or into a tree and then off of a tree onto a horse. And, I, it it just felt weird to me. We've had elder doctors before, and I don't just mean Hartnell. You know? Oh, John Hurt. Yeah, <clears throat> that's exactly right. Actually, John Hurt played a badass, and he did not do any stunts that I can remember. Ah, I don't know. I don't know. I wasn't expecting Malcolm Tucker. Remind me. In the loop. The one where the, the one where he's walking around uh, as a uh, part of the British government's cussing at people constantly. Oh, uh, Capaldi's I think, I think other roles. Once for you. Cap Capaldi's other role. Yeah. I don't think I think that's what everybody expected, and it didn't happen. I uh, I saw. An interview with, oh, I can't remember her name. I'll just put it up on screen now. Which is the woman who played uh, Romana the second. Layla Ward. Well, it's already been displayed on screen. Meow, 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 meow. Meow, meow, meow. I like chickens. Meow. She expressed a worry that Capaldi would be swearing up a storm as well. Although Fuckity I think... Pie. I think in the interview she was doing that as a joke. I don't think she actually believed that Capaldi would go in and be the first doctor to talk like a sailor. Cuss like a sailor. Like a longshoreman. Yeah, I need to uh, start wrapping this up. Because I have all made in all, I thought delivery. it was a good episode. He was like, the, especially the parts where he, was, where he was like, no, 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 shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, sh shut up. <laughs> I've seen this somewhere before. Shut up, sh sh shut up. So I don't know when this is going to be airing, but I got a abominable, abominable Doctor vibes for us. Hmm. There we go. And of course, more prisoner. Of course, and more prisoner. And hell, I might even stay till the end this time. Crazy! Hey, I oh. just leveled up. I'm level 24 now. Woo! What does that get you? Uh, let's find out. I've already maxed out my ADR, which is all the different kind of uh, flammable substance I can cart around. I've already maxed out long distance and high value cargo. Fuck eco driving, so that's just fragile cargo or just in time delivery. Um, let's do fragile cargo because I hardly ever do just in time stuff. Oh, shut up. Not you. Yeah, there we go. Alright, well. 
I'm going to call it good right now, call this video, which is a pity because I do want to talk more about Doctor Who, but uh, I also want to talk about other things. I'm worried about NaNoWriMo, for example, which is, I know, like a couple of months away, but I'm still worried about it. So, um... Whatever. Yeah. I guess uh, that is going to be it for this episode. Say goodnight, Jet. Fuckity bye. <laughs> Good night, everyone. Fuckity bye. No, wait, shut up, shut up. Shh. Do you have Skype? Oh, Want to be on the show? Need help hiding the body? Shoot an email to natchevil at gmail.com and include truck in the subject so I know it's from you. And thanks for watching.